Hi everyone, I'm Angel Wong and I'm here today to share with you guys one of my most favorite summer drinks of all time called Taiwanese milk tea. Now, if you've been to Taiwan, you've probably seen them sell these drinks with these distinctive thick straws, or maybe you're lucky enough to have a bubble tea shop near your home. Either way, if you're looking for a good recipe for this yummy drink, you've come to the right spot. Now, the recipe I'm sharing with you today comes from an old family friend in Taiwan. I call her Auntie. Auntie is a sweet old lady who opened and operated her own milk tea shop in Taichung, which is a city located in the west central area of Taiwan. For all you history buffs out there, Taichung also happens to be the birthplace of milk tea, so you know you guys are getting an authentic recipe. So before we start, let's gather the ingredients we'll need for today. Milk tea can be made with just three simple ingredients. The first ingredient is two bags of Red Rose Tea Original Blend. It's a blend of black and orange pico tea, which has a really smooth flavor and it doesn't have the harshness or bite that so many other teas have. The second ingredient is two tablespoons of non-dairy creamer. I use Coffee Mate. And the third ingredient are two to three tablespoons of organic cane sugar or evaporated cane juice. Now I highly recommend you use this type of sugar to get the sweetness right versus your regular white refined table sugar. There's just a more complex taste with organic cane sugar. You'll know what I mean when you try it, so give it a shot. And last but not least, if you like your tea with tapioca, make sure you have that cooked and ready before we start. Step one, steep the tea. Since the tea is going to take the most time, let's get started with brewing it first. Now, the reason why I like to use two tea bags is because it gives you a nice, deep, rich flavor of that black tea. We'll wanna pour about eight to 10 ounces of hot water or near boiling water over the tea and let it steep for about five minutes. And for those of you who are worried about the tea being too strong, it's okay because we're gonna serve it cold with ice, which will dilute it. Now I'm just gonna set my timer for five minutes and start to prep the other items. Step two, prep the ice. While we're waiting for the tea, I've gone ahead to break out the martini shaker. I did have to dust it off a bit because it's been a while since I've used it to make a martini. <laughs> Actually, no, just kidding. I've never made a martini before yet. Nevertheless, I do have a martini shaker because it's an awesome tool to make milk tea with. And without it, we wouldn't get that light airy texture and foam that milk tea is known for. So you guys should consider getting one too. The next thing we'll do is add ice to the martini shaker. I'm gonna put about two scoops or fill it up about one third full of ice. Step three, add the two tablespoons of non-dairy creamer to the martini shaker directly over the ice. Now the martini shaker is ready for action. Step four, sweeten the tea. Check on the tea and after five minutes, the tea should be done brewing. Go ahead and then take the tea bags out. And then while the tea is still hot, we're going to add in the cane sugar. Then we want to stir until it dissolves completely. And you can go ahead and let it sit there for a few minutes. Step five, this is my favorite step. Mix and shake. Pour the sweetened hot tea mixture over the ice, seal up the martini shaker, and we'll wanna shake for about 10 seconds or until the outside of the martini shaker is ice cold to the touch. You'll know when it's ice cold because you'll also see the condensation on the outside of the shaker. Like this. Step six. Serve it over ice. Open up the martini shaker and pour directly over a glass of ice. 
Now, this recipe makes either one large glass of milk tea, or you can do what I'm doing and split it into two glasses of milk tea. One for me, and one for you. Actually, I think this is my favorite step. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm, that's so refreshing. It's light, airy, just the right amount of sweetness too. It reminds me of those days when I went back to Taiwan and had my first cup of milk tea. So there you have it. This is how you can make Taiwanese milk tea at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my video and you want to see more, please like the video and you can subscribe to my channel, Angel Wong's Kitchen. See you next time. Bye now.